Well, folks, uh, my next guest made headlines after he awoke from a traumatic accident with a spontaneous musical gift. Now, recently, he teamed up with a hearing-impaired singer to make musical history. And that, my friends, is good news. Please welcome Derek and Mandy. <laughs> Great. Derek, so t tell everybody what happened to you. I was on holiday visiting my mother in the Midwest, and I got together with some friends and for a pool party. And we were throwing the football over the pool, and I decided to go diving over the water to catch the football. And I dove into the shallow end and ended up with a, a massive concussion. And um, I was diagnosed with acquired musical savant syndrome. Explain exactly what that is. Though. That means I woke up a piano. I was never a piano. I never had lessons or anything on a piano. Never played one. And I just woke up with fluid skills. Okay. So how did you find out you could play? I went over to visit a buddy when I had snapped out of it, and um, he had a keyboard up in his apartment, and I just felt drawn to it, almost kind of like, like a, like a naked girl in the corner screaming at me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most of us head right over. <laughs> and so, I went over and rescued. Yeah, I did. I went over and sat down and just immediately started playing and sat there for like six hours playing. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Okay, let me talk to Mandy for a second. I'm going to drink that in. <laughs> Mandy, you had a life-changing moment as well. I, I grew up doing music, and I went to Colorado State University as a music educator. And in the first nine months of being there, I lost all of my residual hearing and was dropped from the music program. So now I just read lips and... I have a wonderful interpreter who helps me from time to time. I was really nervous because I, I normally do so well, but you have a mustache and I was scared I wasn't gonna be able to. Baby, listen to me. <laughs> you can read these lips from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> so after I lost my hearing, uh, my dad wanted me to do more music because he thought it was just strange to not use a gift that you have. And so he forced me to, you know, he's like, you need to learn this song. So I learned it and I used a, an, a phone app, a visual tuner to find middle C and then modulated to my starting note, learned the song and sang it. And so now I perform just doing that and I do everything based off of feeling the vibrations through the floor to make sure I'm in tempo and on time. So that's why you don't wear shoes. Yeah, it's not to be disrespectful, I, I promise. No, it's okay. What brought the two of you together, though? I went, went into a lounge in northern Colorado for a meeting, and I walked in, and I heard this girl singing in the back by, you know, with the piano player. I kept looking over at her, and she was so, an she was just animated and all over, and I, I never seen anybody sing like that. So I left the building and um, didn't think of it, anything of it. And five years later, I sent her an email and I said, would you meet me in the studio? I just want to see what happens. I just thought she had a great voice. And then she walked in and started signing at me and I said, I found the perfect, the perfect person to join. Wow. Now, D Derek, tell us about the song that you're about to perform. In December, we released the new song, The Script. And it was written and um, produced by Bryce Bordone and Alex Gagne. And we brought Mandy out to Virginia and recorded it there. We've all had love or touched love and lost love. And I think it's one of those songs that gives you hope to find love again. But this whole experience has been hope for me with her because I wake up every day hoping that she will wake up someday and hear her own work. And that's what it is to me. Wow. Performing their television debut of the song called The Script. Please welcome Derek Amato and Mandy Harvey.